Have you ever seen a 7-foot build speed boost on 2K25? Well, now you have. I made an unguardable 7-foot ISO god. This build can dribble like a guard. I can spam the glitchy behind the back. I can spin back to the three-point line. I can do it all, and my build is humongous. Now, let's talk about the badges. This build is a seven-foot demon. It gets legend post powerhouse, hall of fame post up poet, gold unpluckable, and tons of gold post scoring badges. And we get hall of fame rise up with the elite and pro standing contact dunk, so we're unstoppable in the paint. Hall of Fame brick wall for those hangy doll horsey big body Miyagi's. And not only that, but we get silver Deadeye, silver set shot specialist, and a super glitchy jump shot to shoot consistently from the midi and the three point line. And we can green fadeaways consistently too. At seven foot, this build can still box you up in the paint or on the perimeter with good silver defensive badges. Then we get gold box out beast and silver pogo and rebound chaser, which we can make gold with that max plus one so you can horse everybody. I can't lie, this is the best all around seven foot ISO demigod build that you will ever see on 2k25 like it's so versatile it's unstoppable it can dribble shoot post you up dunk on you box you up on defense it does everything i would absolutely hate to have to guard this seven foot demigod youtube so like i said this build is a dribble demon a post scoring demon it can box you up on defense it can shoot from very deep it can set screens, get rebounds. It does everything. And it is seven feet tall. This build is insane. Now, before I get into this video, drop a like, subscribe, turn those noties on. Let's go crazy in 2K25, man. I'm going to be uploading all year. Now, for this build, we are going with 6'11", actually, instead of 7 foot. That is the closest I could get to 7 foot. I wanted a 7 foot ISO demigod. Now, let me show you guys why. So, if we wanted 60 speed with ball, right, the best strength we could get with that would be a 96. That's what we ideally want, right? But we'd have to go with a 7-1 wingspan, which is minimum for 7 foot, right? So, we're going to go with 6'11". And then we're able to go with a seven foot five wingspan and get the strength that we want and the speed with ball that we want, which is why we're going to go with a 611 power forward, 254 pounds for the weight. And then the wingspan, we are going to go with seven foot five, which is two below the maximum. And look at all the legend badges that you can get on this build. Now, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this build. I'm going to give you the best jump shot for this build as well. The best dribble moves, post moves, absolutely everything you guys need. I'm looking out for you guys. Don't worry, I got you. And then I will also be going over the cap breakers that you guys get. If you did not know, when you hit starter three rep, you get five cap breakers. You can put them on any attribute to increase them by five attributes as long as it is within the cap, right? So as you can see, my standing dunk, for example, goes up to a 99 right here. If I were to put it at a 94, I could upgrade it plus five, which would make it a 99. That is how cap breakers work. So for example, if I maxed out my midi to an 85, I could not put any cap breakers on it because it is at an 85 right now. The build it will not go above and beyond the build's expectations, so it cannot go up to a 90 or even an 86. That is how the cap breakers work, and you get them at starter 3, veteran 2, and I believe legend, and that is a total of 15 extra attributes which make your build crazy. So get to grinding that rep this year, guys. Now this build is a 7-foot ISO demigod, so let's start off with the ball handle we are going to put that at a 71 then the speed with ball we are going to max that out as well at a 61 you only need a 60 speed with ball for that zion williamson dribble style that is the best dribble style surprisingly for six seven and up builds zion williamson only need a 60 speed with ball it's very crazy it, that is all you need then let's up our physicals real quick let's put our speed to a 59 max out the agility which is our lateral quickness for defense to a 61 the vertical we're gonna put that to a 70 i will show you guys later and then for the strength right now let's just put that up to a 92 
which gives us that gold brick wall for right now and then strong handle silver so we're not bothered by defenders while dribbling now this also gives us bronze handles for days that is why we went with a 71 ball handle instead of a 70 now this is only a tier 2 badge if you want to make sure that you have that stamina while dribbling you can put a max plus one on near tier two badge handles for days so this would be silver and then right now our unpluckable is bronze but we're gonna get that silver and then eventually gold which you guys will see next up let's get to the shooting we're gonna put the midi up all the way to an 85 right that's how we're gonna get that super good jump shot which does end up needing an 85 rating or an 84 and then for the three-pointer, we're also going to max that out at a 79. Now, if I wanted more attributes, I could go with like a 75. Still shoot fine because I get all the badges for the midi. But we're going to put this at a 79. So this build can shoot fadeaway midis, fadeaway threes. You get very good animations. Next up, let's get to the finishing. So what we're going to do right now is put this post control all the way up to a 93. Now, as you can see right now, that gives us all of these badges on gold right now okay guys but don't worry we are eventually gonna get most of these on hall of fame or legend then let's put the standing dunk up to a 90 which gives you gold rise up if you want to dunk very very well in this game you need that 90 standing dunk and then that along with the 70 vertical as well down here that gives you the elite standing contact dunk so you will posterize everyone and absolutely destroy them now for our first five cap breakers what we're gonna do is put plus three on the strength what that does is gonna give us a 95 strength for hall of fame post powerhouse okay that is also gonna give you hall of fame brick wall right away as you can see these two badges are gonna turn hall of fame right away just from that then we get two more attributes and we are going to put plus two on the post control to make post up poet hall of fame right away as well so that's how you're gonna do the first five cap breakers when you hit starter three that is a very easy rep to hit that will make both of these badges hall of fame immediately then for the next five cap breakers when you hit veteran two what you're gonna do is put plus three on the post control right here and then plus one on the strength which is gonna give you post powerhouse on legend and that also gives you unpluckable on gold as well as you see going from a 95 to a 96 that gives you gold unpluckable and that gives you legend post powerhouse if you don't care for that you could just get the gold unpluckable put these somewhere else but that is what i designed this build to be the most optimal way of making this build man then this is going to leave you with one extra attribute you could throw that on strength you could throw that on post control or you could throw it on close shot or you could just throw it anywhere else but that is one of the attributes that i recommend so let's put this build back to the way we have it let's put that strength to a 92 post control back to a 93 we still have not touched the defense or the rebounding by the way guys and then for the last five cap breakers what we're gonna do is put plus five on the standing dunk which would give you hall of fame rise up and then if you want to put your max plus one on rise up you could get legend rise up immediately now those cap breakers are hard to get for that one because you would have to hit legend it's gonna be a big grind for legend so i wouldn't really worry about that one too much now let's put our driving dunk back to a 70 layup back to a 56 now let's get to the rebounding and the defense so for the offensive rebound we're gonna put that to an 85 that gives you box out beast on gold pogo stick on silver and then rebound chaser is on silver too if you do for now want to put your max plus one on rebound chaser so that that is gold instead of silver it's going to help you get better animations when you're going for rebounds on offense or on defense now keep in mind guys this build is extremely versatile it can do everything so i had to find the perfect balance of everything okay so i don't want to hear no comments about oh my god this build can't do this it can't do this this build does everything stop being so spoiled then for the interior we're gonna put that at an 82 that'll give you silver post lockdown so you can lock up those pesky dirty post scorers then for the block we're gonna put that to a 74 which gives you paint patroller which is rim protector and then high flying denier which is chase down artist so we can get those chase down blocks lock up those evil post scorers those evil mashers then for the steel we're gonna put that at a 73 most inside center builds most of those big large 7-1 builds they only get a maximum of like a 60 steel 
which is only bronze interceptor. You don't get glove. But me, the way I made this build with the wingspan, weight, height, all of that, you can get silver interceptor. If you want to put your max plus one on interceptor, you can get gold interceptor because of this, which is going to be very overpowered for hawking those lanes on a big build like this. So it's all personal preference. Then for the perimeter defense, if we put this up to a 71, that gives you bronze challenger. And this is a tier two badge. So if you want challenger on silver for bro for those better contests you could do that and then we're gonna put it to a 72 which gives you a movable enforcer which is very good for bumping people up playing defense as well that is on silver too on a 611 build being able to play defense like that that is very good now our speed is low i think that is sadly the worst part of this build everything else is insane though the rebounding is great for a 611 the defense, being able to guard centers and guards to the best of my ability on a six on a fat 611. And I have max wingspan. We get a huge amount of strength. A lot of those badges are going to turn Hall of Fame and Legend. We can dunk insanely well. We have those elite contact dunks. Gold rise up right now. It will be a Hall of Fame eventually with the cap breakers. Every single gold post badge, post powerhouse, post up poet. These badges will turn Legend. Hall of Fame and then Unpluckable will be gold as well with these cap breakers immediately with the first five and with the next five. We got a 70 driving dunk too, which gives you a lot of good dunk animations, which I'm going to show you guys. 88 close shot. I did not talk a lot about this, but you get gold float game for those floaters, which will be very OP because we have a low layup. Being able to do floaters with gold float game is going to be very useful. Then gold hook specialist if you want to be a toxic post scorer. You get crazy post badges. You can shoot insanely well. Silver dead eye set shot specialist post fade phenom on gold. Shifty shooter on bronze because of our agility being a 60. As you can see, if it was a 59, we would not even get that badge. And this badge is tier two. If you want to make that silver for those fadeaways, there's a lot of versatility with how you could use your max plus ones to up those badge tiers like i said the build can rebound it could dribble we get that handles for days now the pass accuracy is low guys i there is there is nothing else i could put down there is nothing i could put down sadly the pass act and the speed are gonna be a bit low in this game honestly i'm just gonna be destroying everyone with this build on offense i could shoot post score dunk dribble if i need to pass the ball if they need to double team me and i need to pass the ball my teammate will be wide open completely wide open i will be able to make the pass so do not say anything about that but this build it is perfect let's put that speed with ball to a 61 we have a high three pointer high midi we got a great jump shot good dribble moves as well you need a 70 ball handle for a few dribble moves this build is crazy, man. Now for the cap breakers, once again, for the first five, you're gonna do three on strength, two on post control. Then for the next five at veteran two, you will do three on post, one on strength, and then you can do one on your standing dunk, close shot, or your strength, maybe just your strength if you want it to be a 97. So it's as high as possible. Then for the last five for legend, you wanna do plus five on standing dunk, so you get hall of fame rise up this build is insane man i cannot lie now we are 6 11 when you make the build you're called a three level scoring threat nothing related to post scoring rebounding you are a three level scoring threat you are a threat to the opposition this build is crazy so now i'm gonna give you guys the best dribble moves the best jump shot and the best animations that you need for this seven foot demigod iso build so for the dribble moves go with zion dribble style ben simmons six size up pro regular breakdown combo pro aggressive breakdown combo pro escape moves pro combo moves normal crossover normal behind the back normal spin pro hezzy pro step back and mj triple threat then for the go-to shot, you want to use Pascal Siakam. This is actually how I do the same side speed boost. I just cancel out of the animation. Dribble pull up normal two for those fadeaways. Spin jumper normal, hop jumper normal. AD post fade, it's a very good post fade. Shaq post hook, Harrison Barnes post hop shot, and Drew Eubanks motion style. It is the best in the game for big builds. You don't get a layup style. You can use any free throw you want. I use Rick Barry. 
Now for the jump shot, I like to use in between push and release for this game to get 25. I think anything after push, whether it's push in between push and release or release is all very good. It gives you a lot of time to hold your square button so you don't mess up your release. Then we have the release speed on the fastest timing which you definitely want. Otherwise, you're not going to be shooting as fast as possible. And then for the blend, we have 15% Kevin Love, 85% Tony Kukoc. And this does require an 85 midi or three. We have an 85 midi on this build. This jump shot is perfect. Chris Bosh might be the best base for these big builds. Kevin Love, Tony Kukoc, both very good releases on very quick. This is the best jump shot for a super tall 6'11 or 7 foot build like this. Then for the dunk packages, like I said, we get the pro contact dunks with an 80 standing 60 vertical, but we get the elite with the 90 standing 70 vertical, which is why we went with that so we will be dunking on everyone then i also have all of these standing dunks equipped as well the one and two hand under the basket regular the pro under the basket rim pulls elite basket rim pulls then both of the athletic ones here as well then for the signature dunks i have draymond green on i think this is a very good driving dunk animation if you want to try dwight howard you can but i personally think it might get blocked a lot then the pro alley-oops you want to throw that on there i think the flashy alley-oop is a good one because it's like a baseline reverse kind of animation besides that one windmill one right there i think these are some pretty fire ones and you get these with the 70 driving dunk which is perfect then you definitely want the big contact lob animation so that you can catch those lobs get those contact dunks off of that now it's personal preference if you want these city dunks i don't use these because i think they can get blocked for the hangs i use basic hangs off of two and i use the athletic one handers off of two as well i don't think either of these could get blocked that easily for the one foot moving dunks i use hangs off one big man baseline reverses off one baseline reverse dunks have been very good since like 2k17 they're very hard to block they're very glitchy when driving on the baseline then i have flashy hangs off one which is another very good baseline dunk package and the under leg off one so i can have a pretty glitchy animation to show off you know what i'm saying so yeah that is it for the dunks the dribble moves the jump shot i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you're gonna make the build if you're messing with it i am gonna be going crazy on the twos the ones maybe even the threes with this seven foot demigod iso build of doom i am very excited to use this build man thank you guys for watching this video be sure to follow me on twitter at hank the tank twist.tv slash hanky alive stream this beautiful basketball game every now and then you know what i'm saying and on tiktok hank the tank yt i be posting a lot Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe, turn those noties on. I'm going to be posting a lot of 2K25 content this year, man. Builds, dribble moves, jump shots, all of that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one.